What's up? We're here in my office, which is actually my living room. I have a kid and I like to be able to hang out with my family and do things when I'm playing games or doing whatever, surfing YouTube, things like that. So this is where we're going to talk about what we're getting into today, which is gaming on your Xbox when you're out and about, whether it be out in town or at your friend's house or whatever. So this is something that always excited me because I've always wanted to be able to play console games when I'm out and about that are a little higher quality than a Nintendo Switch. So let's get right down to it. Um, you're gonna have to download a couple of apps and you're gonna need a Xbox controller that has Bluetooth capability. And then from then on, I'll show you exactly how it's done. So we're right here, we're chilling. This is Apex Legends, as you can see on the screen. I have my headset here, um, Steel Series. Xbox headset and then I have my Xbox Elite controller. So this is what I'm going to be using. It has Bluetooth. I know a lot of the newer Xbox uh, Xbox One controllers have Bluetooth. So uh, whatever you got that connects to your phone will work. Um, we're going to dive right into now the apps that you need to download and have installed on your console and on your phone to in order to play the game. All right, so now all the links that you're gonna to need to download things for your tablet and your smartphone are gonna be in the description below. And go ahead and go there and download all of those real quick. And now we'll get into what you do on your Xbox and then jump to the tablet and smartphone once you've downloaded those apps. So let's do it. All right, so to get this going, you're gonna to need to download the Xbox Insider Hub. Once you do that, you're gonna open it. You're gonna click Insider Content, go all the way over to the Xbox One Update Preview, select and enroll in that. Once you do that, it's gonna let you basically beta test their Xbox operating systems and let you have access to this new feature. So once you do that, you're going to be good to move on over to your tablet or smartphone. I'm going to unlock this off screen here for a second. And then once you do that, you're going to open it up. You're going to go to this Xbox streaming app that you downloaded from the apps from your app store. It's going to queue up um, on your screen. It's going to ask you to sign in and do a few things to get it set up. Really easy, really intuitive setup. Um, once you do that, it's going to have you sync your console. So you're going to hit set up new console. All it has you do is sign in on the console you want to link to your phone or tablet. And then it's good to go. It does all the rest for you. I'm going to hit back because I've already done that. Then it's going to have you hit pair controller. So this is where having a Bluetooth enabled controller is a godsend. So it gives you the option of Xbox controller or different I have an Xbox controller here, so that's what we're gonna select. We're gonna hit next. Yes, it's Bluetooth enabled. And we're gonna hit next again. It's gonna take us to device settings. So to sync it up to your tablet or smartphone, you just hold your little sync button like you would on any other Xbox. And then you just click on the item that you want to sync to. It's gonna talk back and forth and boom, we're connected. Then we're gonna hit back. And it's going to be here. Controller is paired. Hit next. And then we're just going to hit connect. And we're good to go. You can now play Xbox on this tablet. And there you have it. We are playing Apex Legends on a tablet. And there you go. Pretty sweet. All right, so with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed the tips and tricks for this new tech update. Um, Xbox has been coming out with a lot of really cool things lately and I am just over the moon about this one. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. I hope this keeps you sane when you're at your parents' house, your in-laws' house, your girlfriend's house, whatever. Um, it's really easy, really nice, a whole lot of fun to be able to play your Xbox where the S Nintendo Switch kind of can't compare now. It's kind of leaving them in the dust. So we'll see how things go. We'll see how far they take this. As of right now, it's pretty darn good. Right now, the only issue I really have with this is latency. And even then, it's little to none. So... I hope you guys have a good time. Don't use this on any competitive game. 
Um, and I hope you guys have a good time and stay safe out there. Now that you guys have heard me ramble on and on about what I think about this and how amazing this ability is that we have in this day and age, I just want to say thanks for watching, have a great day, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you guys later.